motion this morning about East Coast Rail. Why do you think the council should get involved in whoever owns East Coast Rail? Well, I think it's about, if we talk about uh, public uh, transport integration, I think it's really important the rail service that comes into the city and uh, parts from the city, and whether that's for the economy uh, and encouraging visitors or for residents who want to use rail. And I think we're trying to encourage particularly rail uh, to be used in the city. So the service and the reliability of the service is really important. I think if you ask most people who've used the East Coast in the last two to three years, they will say it's very, very successful um, and it's put 800 million back into the Treasury um, and the people of Edinburgh I believe are supportive of keeping it um, as East Coast in the public sector. East Coast only takes approximately 1% subsidy from the, the government and on average it's 32% for all the other private companies and also £800 million has come from profit back into the Treasury whereas the private companies, their profits go to shareholders. So this is an investment into the, into the rail service but you and I who are providing uh, that service I think is really important as public uh, and all of the profits, all of it you know, goes back into the Treasury which can be reinvested into services. This has been brought forward, um, this um, whole going out to tender, um, and the public sector can't um, um, bid for it, so it'll be all private sector bidding. And the only reason is because of the fiasco that happened in the West Coast Line uh, with Virgin and the millions of pounds that was wasted there. Um, and so because of that, this has been brought forward. And we just believe that you need to have that mixture of public and private. The public East Coast service has been, is, is a good service, it's liked by the public, why not just keep it as it is at the moment?